Hey guys, it's your girl Smiley Quanta and I'm going to take you on a little journey of my fifth big chop. So this was like a decision that I decided to go a little bit shorter. The middle of my hair was thinning and breaking off. The rest was pretty much healthy. So I didn't want to go right into big chopping. So I decided to just give myself a haircut. This is what I normally do when I'm deciding that I want to go like completely bald and start over. So I cut it a little um, above my shoulders. So in this video, you'll just see me chopping my hair off. And then you'll see a clip of what I decided on and then the rest of the pictures will be basically a journey of the hairstyles <laughs> that I went through to get where I am so um, I do have a few videos on here but I want to know if you guys want to see how I maintain my short hair how I color my short hair how I style it just different videos on my journey back to growing my hair out and this is not something new to me. This is why I said fifth big chop because normally I cut my hair around every two to three years. Once it grows back, I go ahead and um, cut it off. So this time, I hopefully it's a journey of five plus years or more where I grow out my hair to possibly bra length uh, and see what happens from there. So I did speed up this part and I may speed it up a little bit faster. But for the most part, it's about two to three minutes, maybe just a minute or so. Um, but probably the most is like three minutes of me cutting my hair and then seeing the finale of. <laughs> yeah. it's, it looks so healthy, but y'all can break it to me. It is horrible. But it is healthy. But the break is killing me. <laughs> so now I'm going to transition into a few videos um, and pictures of my hair stages.